Ajay, uh, would you talk about uh, different 5G use cases that you have displayed at India Mobile Congress 2019? Okay, so this is uh, not just 5G use cases. We are uh, demonstrating a couple of other things. Let me just start with the... We run in uh, 10 large data centers, uh, which are in the range of around 15 to 20 megawatts each. Uh, beyond that, we also have around 122 edge data centers. So that's one part which we are demonstrating here. Uh, large part of the content was sitting outside. Now, almost whether it's the enterprise side or the content side, almost everyone is bringing the content into the country. So that's pretty much what we are demonstrating here, that how exactly the data centers Cloud. Uh, data Most of our customers wanted to make sure, while they are transforming towards cloud, how can we help them into this journey? So we run a business which is onto the cloud side. In the cloud business, we offer uh, private cloud, public cloud, hybrid cloud, and we are also building our edge uh, cloud capability. Now, once the 5G and IoT will come, almost all data will start riding on the edge side, and that's the uh, another use case. Uh, in India, there are around 100 smart cities within this country. We have already got 5-6 of them. Uh, Wherein not only we are offering connectivity, we are also offering them the cloud part. We are offering them the surveillance activity. That's the third uh, piece that we are demonstrating. Uh, this side is the IoT side. On IoT, we run around uh, 5.5 million devices in the country. Uh, this yeah. is based on which technology? Currently, it's based on 3G and 4G. And the IoT, we are doing trials. Those trials have been done in Bangalore. Uh, we will also be expanding on the diet very, very fast, depending on how exactly your customers are interested. So that's uh, the NDIoT uh, use cases have been demonstrated in the back side of it. Wherein we are showing how the environment feeds are coming and that's been done. This side is mainly around IoT. For IoT, uh, what we have done in the B2B, we run around 2,000 large enterprises. Uh, we have gone deeper into multiple verticals, whether it's manufacturing, automobile, and so now here we are demonstrating a variety of new systems. Like it's a smart thing. Uh, eventually, every distribution company today has a bigger issue and challenge when to distribute the goods when actually this is needed. Should be under supply or oversupply. So what this uh, device can do, this is the IoT device uh, wherein to the central location you can get a feed, and that feed can tell you yes your material is finished. Now you go back and get another feed. This is another very interesting use case, which is uh, smart battery. Uh, going forward, we believe our device will be connected, and that device not only will be connected. To we will also play a role in terms of a device uh, management piece. So we are building our whole capability platform on a connectivity platform and a device management platform. Much. In the back, there, sir, uh, we are seeing empty hectare. So what what is the role Airtel has played in this uh, uh, car? Look, uh, uh, empty hectare is uh, one of our first connected cars in the country. Uh, and we have a connected partner with them. Uh, whenever there is any such connected car, which is coming with a package, we fit it. There is a lot of work and integration that needs to go behind it. So that everything works. We had a very deep partnership with engagement with MBD Hector. Uh, this whole car is doing very, very well, and we are very happy to be associated with them and continue to build multiple other use cases in this car. We feel uh, on uh, road almost every vehicle will be connected, either a new vehicle which is coming or the existing vehicles which are there. So we are working in both the segments. One side with large uh, auto volume as well as manufacturing. On other side on the existing vehicles by launching new products. So what kind of solutions are you providing? Uh, look, uh, it's uh, again in this car, uh, the whole platform that is sitting inside is right onto the connectivity platform. That's what it is. You also have a phone fashion application. Yes. So, would you talk about that? Look, uh, there are multiple other uh, applications which is Industry 4.0, fashion application, surveillance, and few others. 
what we are saying that once the 5G is there, it will reduce the latency and also increase the throughput. Uh, while we will happen, uh, there will be multiple use cases that will come into the market. In that fashion uh, applications, what we are showing, the way today we all use the fashion, when we go to a store, we go the, do the trial, uh, all these things will change. Actually, there will be impact on any and every activity which we do with this uh, technology. We are also demonstrating that side on the surveillance piece. Uh, surveillance today, earlier the way we used to do the surveillance, Location centric. So you collect the data, you throw the data there. But now the surveillance will change. So what we are demonstrating here is it's an AI based surveillance. So almost every existing camera can be AI based surveillance camera. We can store the data into the cloud. We can identify the devices, we can identify the faces, we can count the people and we can create multiple use cases. That's pretty much what it is. Any any health applications that you want? There is also a healthcare application which is there which is remotely uh, in case there is any surgery need to happen, any uh, input need to be given to students, so I think all of that can be shown there. So almost all of them, whenever you get a chance, they should visit, uh, are mainly focused on 5G or private LTE with use cases. One last question, sir. Uh, out of these applications, which applications do you see will pick up initially and later on uh, will gain momentum and then will be deployed? On a large scale. Uh, look, uh, out of all of that, uh, uh, I would say uh, most of the thing, the first and foremost activity which we all uh, need to do is to connect every office. Okay. Till the time because connectivity is not there. So I think that's the first thing which we as a company is driving to make sure every last office, whether it's a large organization or SME, is being connected. Then the biggest application and activities which will emerge is on the cloud and data center side because everyone needs to store data. On IoT, uh, I say I feel the whole tracking, whether it's the human or vehicles, to make sure at least every such uh, automobile, and whether it's a two-wheeler or a four-wheeler, is connected. I think that's another piece which will come up. Uh, in my view, surveillance also is another application which has a lot of potential. Almost everywhere there will be a surveillance need. Rest all are initial use cases which are being done. Uh, we need continue to work with a lot of startup ecosystem. Uh, one more piece which I wanted to highlight is, we as a company have a very strong philosophy of working with partners, whether those partners are city partners, content partners, and that's pretty much what we are demonstrating. So we are working with a lot of startups to solve the specific use case and the specific problem of our team.